Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force, I'm Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Sukhoi Su-33 Flanker D. Now this is the carrier variant of the Su-27 fighter jet. It's different in that it has canards, which are these little wings here in the front. And they also have larger wings, which are actually foldable, as you can see I have the foldable variant right over here just to make them compact to fit on their aircraft carrier the admiral kutz himself i have a one-to-one -one skill back over there i built a long time ago um, it's also different in that it has this black and white tail hunk underneath the tail thing so here is the russian aircraft carrier the admiral kutz himself i built this in one-to-one -one scale so it's smaller than the 1.5 to 1 scale but i just want to have a comparison between the older one-to-one -one scale c33 tutorial i did back on my main channel crafty fox Versus the new 1.5 to 1 scale. Uh, this is like a modernized, kind of inspired by Toxels like Su-30, SM. Try to make it the same kind of style, but I did add my own touches to it. And maybe I'll make a Su-27 variant of it. It's definitely a world of difference between these two. And um, yeah, it just shows you how far we've come in the building Minecraft military stuff. Now the Su-33's only combat history is striking ISIS terrorist facilities in Syria, uh, which is like the only Admiral Kutsitsov combat deployment. Right now they're in dry dock and you won't see them for quite a long time. So this has not actually seen action in Ukraine. I think they do station them in uh, naval facilities on the mainland though. Well, yeah, let's go take a look at it here. We got the number here in red. I have the landing uh, gear doors open. It's like red inside. The air intakes, the canard, the wings with the red star right there and red star on the vertical stabilizer. You also have this Russian flag right there. And then here's what it looks like in the back. And I believe there's like some kind of animal marking right here. Now for the folded up wings version of it, it's actually something I learned while building this. Uh, they actually fold the back of the wing here forward so it doesn't hit the vertical stabilizer. I did not know that. But that's a little detail I added. And you can also see the pylons that kind of stuck to the wing. And I did make the bottom of this um, light gray, although there are some versions where they have light blue underneath. I feel like this one gives it a better contrast. And I'd like to thank Owen Bross for commissioning this build. He says he's actually making his own Admiral Kutsensov carrier. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. So the dimensions are going to be 32 blocks long, 9 blocks tall, 23 blocks wide. And the folded wings version is going to be 13 blocks wide. So here is the production line. So let's start here by building the fuselage. So the first thing we'll do, we'll make the landing gear. So that's just going to be a polished blackstone brick block, lever behind it, a birch fence on top, and then two andesite walls, two birch fence gates in the back, iron trap door, and then birch fence gate in the front. Open that up. Then we'll add in these uh, three mangrove slabs, clay, and then this is going to be these three smooth uh, quartz slab here, and then snow this is going to be uh, two layers tall. And then this one is going to be six layers tall. And then I added this bird trap door just to make the nose hang down a bit. So there's going to be iron trap doors here. And then over here, just going to build it how it looks like there is a carpet right there. And here in the back, we're going to have this clay segment that is going to be nine blocks long. I'll add in all this slope things and portal frame and smooth quartz slab here. All right, then the back will alternate between light blue and cyan concrete here. Add in some carpets on top, cyan and light blue, trap doors, and the back gonna be four light blue concretes. Smooth quartz slab, and this is gonna be the tail hook, just chains and end rods slab. And there's also a stone button on top. All right, so after you've done that, let's move on to the next layer. We'll just add in some glass panes. It's gonna be two white glass panes here and then two light gray glass panes and then two andesite walls. And then upside down andesite stairs. This is gonna be four blocks long and then andesite slabs underneath it. Andesite slab here, stairs upside down. Then clay, this part's gonna be seven blocks long. And then we'll add in uh, these glass panes here in the front. These stairs and slabs, daylight detector. 
All right, and then down underneath here, if you can't do this, like you don't have a debug stick, um, you can just use a birch trap door right over here instead. Uh, but yeah, we'll add three trap doors there, then light gray glass panes, two andesite walls, and then andesite stairs could actually could be facing inwards. So three here, polished deep slate stairs, and then deep slate tile stairs. So two of them corner the edge one. And pretty much the same thing on top. All right. So the other side is going to be similar, but slightly different. This is going to be a prismary brick stairs instead of warped. Then we'll add in. Then this side part is a little bit different as well. It's going to be two light blue concretes. And this clay is going to be six blocks long. And the other side, I uh, would just build it like this. And there also is this birch button in the front. If you forgot that, just add that. All right. So the next layer, um, layer three, I guess. So on the side of this, we'll add an andesite slab and we'll go make it five blocks long Then two black concretes on diagonal. And we really don't need that part. Get an iron trap door here. And there's going to be five iron trap doors here. All right, then on top, daylight detectors here, carpet, uh, iron trap door. Um, and then two warp trap doors here, and then clay two blocks long. And then three inside blocks, and then two warp stairs, and add in all these things in the back. And also at the bottom here. All right, then the other side, here's what that looks like. Pretty much the same thing, I guess you don't need to do that. All right, and then it's going to be a cyan carpet here. All right, the next step, we'll add in uh, more trap doors here, two of them. Then it's going to be andesite stairs, going to be five blocks long, trap doors on the side of this. Andesite wall, three here, and then don't forget the slab, stairs here. And then these fence gates like that. And we'll add in the back section, which looks like this. And then on the tip, this is going to be this snow layer, it's going to be five layers tall, birch button in the back of it. And add in these things here. I think we'll add an iron trap door right there. All right, so then on the other side, this is what it looks like. You know, these stable are going to be different. Like that. All right, and then the next layer, um, we're done with the main body. We just add a little bit on the canard here. And then this part, it's gonna be andesite stairs. So this is gonna be like two of them according to the front one. And then we'll add in four of them here, slab here. Some more carpets on top of it. And at the bottom, we'll add in the wheel here. And uh, in the back, we're gonna add in uh, five iron trap doors here, carpets on top. Add in a dark oak sign to the side of this. And we'll add in these two banners, which we'll also add on the other wing. So to make this banner, right, to make the red star, it looks like this. You'll need a red banner. And then go inside the loom, and then you'll place in a light blue dye. Just horizontally like this, put it back inside. Then we're gonna add in red dye with a flower charge banner design. Then we'll take that, put it back inside, and then add in a light blue dye on the top half and light blue dye on the bottom half. Like this, put it back inside. And then red dye, we want a diamond in the middle. And then blue, light blue dye, we want a triangular, like a mountain in the middle, bottom. And that's how you would make this thing. And just in case you're confused, you know, this is what all the patterns look like. All right, so to make the Russian flag banner, go inside a loom, white banner, and then red dye, we want that on the bottom half, put it back inside. Then blue dye would go across the horizontal middle, put it back inside. We'll add in cyan dye, top row, put it back in, add on the bottom row. 
then we should have our Russian flag banner. I'm going to take these two banners and we are going to place them right there and then same thing pretty much on the other side like that. All right, and then the bottom here, which we'll add in these again, check doors, carpets on top. Slab here, and then and then four stairs here, then two stairs facing this way. Carpets on top, and then these two warp trap doors, carpet on top. All right, so the next layer, we're just gonna add in iron trap door to the side of this the canards, both sides, and then over here we'll add in andesite um, slab. Let's get go all the way to the back, so six blocks long. Carpets on top, in the back, four iron trap doors, and carpets on top. Other side, pretty much the same thing, just the carpets are different. All right, so this is where we split off the tutorial, whether you want to make the folded out wings version or the folded wings version. So let's first make the you know regular C-33. So for the wings, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add in um, anisite stairs here, we're gonna corner this edge. And this one is going to be four blocks long and then a slab in the back. Next one's gonna be slab here and then anisite stairs and then four blocks long and the corner of the one in the back, slab there. Then there's going to be five iron trap doors here. And then we're gonna have four and it says there's corner of the front and the back. And then three iron trap doors and then three smooth stone slab and then a warp slab right there. In the back we're going to have three iron trap doors and a dark oak trap door at the corner. On the other side do the same thing and then over here pretty much the same thing actually. The only difference is on the edge the colors of these two slabs. They're going to be different. All right, and then after that, you're just going to add in carpets on top of the wings. Looks like this. Back looks like that. And this side looks like this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Su-33. Now we're going to make the folded wings version of it. It's slightly different. So for this one, we're going to go off where we left off here. And we're going to skip block here and then add in anisite stairs. going to be four blocks long. Dagling up, add in another four. Dagling up, add two. A mangrove stairs, and then two stairs here. And then the inside, then we're gonna add in these andesite stairs upside down going this way. So add in just like one, two, three, four of them like that. Cross the top, we'll add in these slabs. All right, now the other side, we're gonna do this. Pretty much the same thing, just these two slabs are gonna be different, or these four slabs. And then at the back, we'll add in these um, warp trap door, dark oak trap door there, and a light blue banner right there. Other side, it looks like this. And if you can't do this, just use brush trap door like I said before. So once you do that, we're going to add in the pylons to the wings. So we're just going to add in three iron trap doors here, and then three iron trap doors right there. And do the same thing on the other side. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Sukhoi Su-33, the whole thing in Minecraft. Thanks again to Owen Bros for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in doing a commission, check out the link in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.